Hey everybody, welcome back to Spitters. And in this video tutorial, we are going to learn this cool charging battery animation. Yeah, so without wasting any time, let's get started. Alright, so first let's create battery. Let's group it now. Okay, now quickly let's create the charger. Okay, now let's create a wire for a charger so that let's take this spline pin and draw a path. all right now let's move to emitter part so before that just select this cylinder this and go to basic and you know click this x-ray option so we can see inside the uh, our battery like this Okay, you just simply group it. Okay, now go to simulate inside particles like this emitter. Just make sure that emitter perfectly fit inside the, this battery so the ball particle won't go outside the battery. Sphere radius is 8 cm and put that sphere inside the emitter like this. Select emitter and turn this option on like this. 
so you get this kind of animation okay just in increase the timeline around 300 and then select the emitter and increase this birth rate to around 50 both in editor and the renderer start emission at 30 so it will start the simulation of the sphere at after 30th frame okay and stop emission make it 200 for as of now let's see okay the most important step is select the sphere and go to simulation tag and select project body okay and uh, go to battery and select this cylinder right click simulation tag and select collider body okay and inside this collision make sure you select static mesh and let's see what happens override cool so go to frame 80th and select this emitter now we just animate this speed okay right now it's 100 at a keyframe and then at 100 frame make it 300 Right now, just play button. Oh, we need to increase speed more, so go to death frame and make it 500. Let's see now. You also can increase the stop emission frame. So right now it's emission st stopping at 200 frames. Just change it to around 250. We just need to slightly increase our uh, speed so go to 100 frame and instead of 500 make it 800 and add a keyframe don't forget to add keyframe otherwise it won't work so see at 100 frame our speed is 800 because i add keyframe go to frame 0 play You also can increase the sphere size if you want to. So let's make it 9 cm. Let's see what happened. So frame 0, play. Yeah, I think that's fine. And we can stop emission at uh, 196, so which is around 190. Okay. So select this emitter and go to here stop emission and uh, you know put 190 frame. so after 190 it will stop emitting the sphere okay so go to frame 0 and let's play let's see what happens perfect So at 200 frame, select this cube
make this tube slightly bigger than battery you can see here then turn on this play option let's increase this wait okay now okay, now we'll animate this cube okay so go so add 200 frame to records and add keyframe for uh, y okay I'll just drag this keyframe to around 10 frames or 20 frames again add keyframe and at 200 frame it will come from top like this okay so add keyframe let's play once this so okay done and now the main part is we need to group this cube and battery together so select here and click on this null object and select this cube and the battery put inside null Okay, so let's play once. So come at 220, select the null and add a keyframe for y axis because it will go up, right? At 240, animate this null object and bring it top like this. Don't worry about this first, just add keyframe. Okay. Now if you go back and play this animation, see, we'll get this kind of animation. Let's go. So the sphere is coming out, uh, filling it. You're coming down and we go up. Okay. Now we need one more battery to take place of this battery. So it will look like a loop animation so for that go to frame 0 and select this battery and hold control or command and drag it down all right okay and uh, Again, copy of the copy of this battery. So hold command and again drag it down like this. Let's set camera for it. This is our camera view. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, that's okay. And now select this second battery. Just rename it to battery one, and this is battery two and the battery three. All right, now select this battery three option, uh, battery three, and uh, just move this further. Okay. Okay. Now we need one more null, so go here and select null object and now select these two batteries 2 and 3 and put inside null object like this. Okay, now just for now just hide this. Let's see our animation first, one second. Okay, it's filling in and then you're coming down going up okay
so 220 to 240 is time when the null object is going up okay so at 220 select this null sorry at 240 select this null and add a keyframe here and at 220 at 400 like this now let's play this animation Now the show to power is coming inside this battery. Just duplicate this whip. And give it to the screen material. This is really the circle. So if you play this, you will get this kind of image. I hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe Espitals and also don't forget to hit the like button. And yeah, that's it for now. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching guys.